Have you ever wanted to just stack and put away that big mess of Rubik's Cubes laying around? Well, on today's video, I'm gonna teach you five ways to beautifully stack them. So let's get into the video. So for our first way, we just have the classic stack. So you just kind of swirl it and it's, it's a nice stack. It's basic, everybody knows it. All right, so all you're gonna wanna do is just turn, turn your Rubik's Cube a little. If it's magnetized right after that magnetic bump, so just, you're just going to repeat that for the remaining however many cubes you have. It doesn't need to be 3x3, three three, any other cube. So let's get on to the next one. Alright, so this, for this one, it's just normal. It's just 2x3x3 three by three by three stacked on one 3x3 three three with any ballast on top. And remember, you can swatch, switch these cubes for any other type of cube. So let's get on to the loop. What you're going to do for this is um, you're just going to need 3x3s. Three, um, three you can remember, you can use any cube. Um, we're going to get to the 2x2s two later, so you can just put those away. Yeah, so you just hold it like that, put your first 2x2 two two or ballast on, and you can put your second one on, and that looks pretty nice if you just have like a little bit of cubes on the store. So let's get on to the next one. Alright, so this next one is kind of an invention of my own. I've never seen this, and it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't, I've never seen this, so let's get on to building that. Alright, so how you're going to do this is you're going to need, um, just remember, any you can swap these out for any cubes. So you, how I did it is I used one, like, larger 2x2, two two. then I stacked three 3x3s three on top of it, turning each of them 45 degrees, then swapping it, as you can see, um, and then you're just going to repeat this for however many 3x3s three three you have. Try try putting your pictures down in the comments below, and I want to see how big you can stack yours. So let's get on to the next one. Alright, so this next one is also an invention of mine, and it's, it's pretty interesting. I really like it, so let's see how to build it. Alright, so this one I said is pretty interesting, and remember, you can swap any of these cubes out, but, um, what I'm going to be using today is just three 3x3s. Three three. So maybe you could use a 5x5 five five and turn the in two inner layers like that. So you're just going to turn the, um, the U and the D layers, um, or the top and the bottom, um, 45 degrees. And then you're gonna, just going to stack it on top of it like that. And they should balance. Your first one should balance because it has three things sticking out. And that looks really cool. I really like that one. So let's get on to the next one. Alright, so for our fifth and final stack, it's pretty interesting. It's almost like an optical illusion. So let's see how to build this awesome stack. Alright, so um, for this one, this optical illusion one, very weird. You're going to need those three 3x3s three three and my two 2x2s, two two just two 2x2s. Two two. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn the, the bottom layers of your 3x3 three three 45 degrees. Match them up just like that in the video. Um, turn the top 45 degrees also. Just rest it on top. It should rest like that. And remember, um, put your pictures down below or tag me on Instagram at the Ruby Cube official. Um, put that one on top, 45 degrees, those two, per, two by twos. And that looks really nice. So I wanna see yours too. So comment down below. Um, <coughs> follow me on Instagram while you're showing me your picture. And remember, like and subscribe. And until next time, catch you later.